hi all welcome back now in this uh, session we would be looking at how to make any changes uh, to a sap master data table uh, caution this is supposed to be definitely not exercised unless and until there is a very very uh, important business requirement for example if there is any discrepancy the data has not flown properly or has not updated properly in all the linked tables then probably this could be one of the last option however this definitely must be the last option uh, however before making any changes to the database table uh, please make sure that you know that what database table you are changing and why you are changing to it uh, let's see how to make changes to any of the database tables so that at least you know how to make the changes However, once again, let me warn that this is not supposed to be exercised unless and until there is a very, very justifiable business requirement, business case from the business itself. Now, the uh, transaction code, um, prior to that, let us go at the table level. Let us pick up an, uh, any of the table. Okay, uh, let us pick up EKPO only. Uh, this is a purchasing document item. So, uh, let me just immediately fetch up at least uh, three to five records so that you know we can look at that how we can make changes now i'm going to uh, fetch the <coughs> fetch the records excuse me i'm going to fetch the records so prior to fetching the transaction code that you should be typing in is ampersand sap underscore edit now this is a transaction code that you should be highlighting um this is a transaction code that you should be using and once i press enter there will be a message at the at the bottom that would say that sap editing function activated that means that the tables are now open for any kind of changes here you can see now the sap editing function is activated so you can see here that means this message states that what does this message means that now the tables are open for editing so i'm going to execute it so it has picked up the first five records as per my wish yeah i have just given five records to be fetched um so here you can see that these white fields they are editable so i can make any changes say for example uh, here it is like new material hyphen tata so i want uh, instead of tata the tat so i can definitely make these changes you can see here it is allowing me so i'm not i do not want to make any changes right now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute uh, fetch the same records in one more screen in a display option so that we can see how the changes would look like okay uh, so what i'm going to do is so here you can see um that we have the same sc16 uh, records that have been fetched of ekpo table now here you can see this is this is how usually it would be now this is in a display mode usually you will always get in a display mode so you can see here that all of these they are grayed out and you really cannot make any changes but here you can definitely make some changes uh now what i'm trying to do is i'm going to change this to new material alone And now the idea is to see that whether this one, this is this should be now new material one. The first description of the material should be new material one here also. The moment I save. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to either hit control S or I can go for this. So let me save. So you can see here change towards this two. So I'm going in, and now once I refresh here, here it should be new material one you can see here it's gone new material one so this is how the changes at the database table level would be done say for example if you would like to change it again back to the normal i mean i i want or i understand that okay tata is also very important so i should write it back so i wrote it back and now here says changed rows is one that means one row is implicated um and now here when i refresh the short text should be uh, visible with hyphen tata here you can see it has come with hyphen tata so this is how it should be 
uh, you you can make any changes to any of the documents uh, any of the fields like changed on dates you can change for example if I have to change this I can say 29.9 and I do this um, and then I go back here and let me see if there is any change yet yeah, you can see here it is changed now uh, but this is definitely not advisable this cheat sheet should be used only in case you uh, have a real valid business justification and uh, there is no other way left out to make uh, the changes and this should be done under expert supervision so if you really do not know or if you're unsure of what you're doing please don't use this thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel um, uh, below as mentioned is my sap url um, for more information you can always go back over there and you can see the videos or the uh, material uh, i keep on updating those um, apart from that uh, if in case you subscribe to my channel you will definitely be notified with all the new videos that i would be upcoming with thank you for watching have a great day